What's good YouTube? Today we're going to go ahead and reveal the Team Zodiac roster. We've been teasing it a lot. You've seen Zodiac Duelist ZD in a lot of my YouTube videos. And here's a picture from ARG Dallas. It'll probably be the most members we have together until Nationals. So we went ahead and took a picture. And uh, there's a lot more to this roster though, so we're going to get into it. First off, Team Manager Robbie Cole. Robbie Cole, of course, Zodiac's founding father. Uh, wouldn't have the name or group without him. And he himself has two tops, but team managers probably won't be in a part of Team Wars unless there's a reason to be, or it's an exhibition match. And then, of course, myself also. I'm also a team manager. Will not personally be a part of Wars unless there's a reason to be. And uh, myself, my Shonen Jump win back in the day, Dusty, it's old, and two Shonen Jump tops as well that are even older. And then... Uh, See more juicy. You, he's an admin. You've seen him. Finally, a face to the man. He's gonna be helping run the stream. We're finally gonna get him a setup, and he's gonna be one of the three heads of the Hydra, so to speak. So, also another team manager. So, let's get into the actual team itself. First, it's your boy Based Lolly. Let's go ahead and get into his shout out. He's one of two people that had shout outs for this. 11 Tops, professional parody duelist, loves anime, is actually just a cat. Uh, 2014 ARG Player of the Year, nominated most hilarious duelist every year, every year. Uh, if he were one of the Dragon Rulers, he'd be all of them. But in all reality, Base Lolly does have an ARG win, a separate ARG finals, four other ARG tops, three YCS tops, a Nationals top. He just top aided the UDS. And is ARG 2014's Player of the Year. Let's go ahead and get into iTweety. This man topped Chicago this last year and is one of the biggest online grinders that we know of. He's been with the stream a lot. You've heard his voice a lot in my videos. Definitely a welcome addition to the team. Awesome guy. We have Brendan Beckman. He himself has seven tops. Uh, which also include four YCS tops, a Nats top, an ARG top, and an ARG finals from Arizona, which you saw him play a, another teammate that'll be coming later on. We have also his good friend, Johnny Nagel. Johnny Nagel himself has nine YCS tops and an ARG top, and has been a longtime friend of both the channel and the house, so could, uh, definitely a welcome addition as well. We have... Adrian Savage Santos, he has an ARG top. The, the next three are all our Northeast crew. The last two were from Colorado. We kind of have an international thing going on. And uh, Adrian Santos, definitely an up-and-comer to watch, as is Jeffrey Torres, OTK Central. You've seen him do play some of the craziest decks on my channel, including the Interblath OTK. Uh, really fun guy to watch on YouTube. We'll be following him around on Twitch quite a lot. He himself also has an ARG top. And then Matt Nistico. Matt Nistico has an AR Nationals, ARG Nationals top as well as another ARG top. And uh, all three of these definitely up and coming duels that we wanted on our roster. They're definitely really cool people to follow, watch, and really good duelist. Next we have the reigning, defending, undisputed national champion Noah Green, who was one of the only other people who had a shout out message, which was, let's see here. I put up too many tabs. It is XD Haha -ha, LOL. That's all he has to say coming into this. Uh, we have Oscar Zalea, probably the player of the year right now. He just finished winning ARG Arizona, top 16 YCS Atlanta, and then top 16 YCS Dallas. Like, or not YCS Dallas, my bad, ARG Dallas. So he's been in three of the major events this year that have happened, and there's only been that in the UDS so far, and he's topped all of them. Definitely man on a roll. He has a YCS win, an ARG win, a YCS top 16, and two more ARG top 16s. Then Scott Page, Mr. 2X himself, two YCS uh, tops, two Nationals tops, two ARG tops, one of which was the finals of the very first ARG here in Dallas. We've got Cam the Man Neil. He is also pretty much heating up. He just topped another ARG, so he has two ARG tops and two YCS tops. One of the biggest online grinders. I believe he's top 20 right now on Dueling Network, as Scott Page just was number one on Dueling Network as well. We have a lot of really big DN grinders who have a lot of credentials as well on this team. Then we have Taylor Wallace. Look at that face. Definitely enjoying himself. Probably one of the most competitive players that have been up and coming. He 
really heated up last year. I would have called him Texas's player of the year if Miguel Soto hadn't gone to Worlds. He has a YCS top, which was Chicago Nationals uh, 2015 last year as well. ARG 25K, which is the ARG Nationals uh, last year as well. And ARG Phoenix at the beginning of this year, he also top 16 then we have the beard himself, Michael Clazel. He has five YCS tops as well. Definitely a great duelist to watch. Super innovative. You've seen him top regionals with things like Koki Meru and like huge decks. So definitely really fun. As well as a uh, Burning Abyss deck during I think full power Necros format that played triple Vanities, triple Majesties. He always has a lot of surprises and was one of the most innovative duels that we know. Then we have Grant Wilhelm. He's only been to two major events. And he managed to top one of them, which was Nationals. Grant Wilhelm, definitely one of the up-and-coming duels. You've heard him on commentary with us. Really insightful into the game and is only 16 years old. Then we have Joey Lynch rounding out the crew. Joey Lynch has four YCS tops. Just finished topping YCS Atlanta. Uh, definitely a breakthrough duelist that's going to have a huge impact on the game another dn grinder almost always in the top 100 and i'm really proud to call all these guys our teammates those last few were all texas i believe our roster is something like six or seven texans uh two from colorado three from the northeast and then we have our team managers as well and the base all the out of california so it's really great throwing this team together. The era of teams is coming back. You've seen Team Jobber, of course, the card guys. Like, it's going to be a really huge thing coming. So, the revival of the team era is just something we're all really looking forward to. But until then, stay tuned and have a good rest. We're going to have a lot of Seymour action coming your way within these next few months.